What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is Wayne from Fade the Black and Fade the Black Vlog. So, last week we were talking about tint and film and glue and coming off and peeling. We were talking about all of those topics. So, today, real talk, I had a customer call me because, because her film was peeling up right in this corner. Now, I'll never admit and say that I'm most perfect tinter or anything like that, but when I do get a peeling issue, I usually get a peeling in this corner. Now, I had a Ford Focus hatchback and it peeled in that corner twice. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna lower um, the level of the film to slide down a little bit farther. Um, if I do that, I think I, don't have any, I won't have any problems. Now, on the other side, the other side's fine. So I'm gonna look at it before she takes off. But this film, I just took this film off and all of the glue came off with the film, okay? So people can talk about cheap film or good film or bad film, you know, I don't know. But all the glue stayed on this film when it came off. Now. That's kind of what you want to have happen. When you take the glue off the glass, you don't want all that glue on the glass because you're gonna be scraping that glue. You're gonna be trying to clean that glue off. It's gonna be a mess. So essentially, I would think, most people would think that you want the glue to stay on the film. You remove the film, the glue stays on. Now granted, this hasn't been on this lady's car that long. Um, she came in here a while ago. I don't remember exact date, but I did a visor strip and I did a front match for her. And I did a pretty low visor strip on here too to kind of keep the sun out. So it's a pretty low visor strip. So I did all that. And like I always tell my customers, I'll warranty. If you have a problem, I'm just gonna fix it. I'm not gonna make you fill out a warranty card or anything. It's easy for me just to take care of the customer, get them what they need and get them back on the road. So this is a 20% front match. I'm gonna put 20% on here. And like I said, this time I'm gonna go down deeper in the seals. I put a little bit more length on there. I'll put it down there. I'll heat shrink it really well and hopefully won't, they won't have another issue. So I'm gonna get that done and I'll bring you guys back. All right, so I just wanted to do this just to show you guys really quickly. So this was my line mark on the, on the glass um, when I had this on the outside of the vehicle. So this was the bottom seal mark right here. Now I went a little bit longer with this one. Usually I'm, I'm right here on the edge and I think that's probably what caused my, uh, the film to peel. So this one, I went a lot, about a half an inch or an inch or so here. Um, to give me more depth down below the seal. So it'll tuck a little bit farther in. So that's what I'm gonna do to try to fix this issue. I got film a good distance all the way around on this one. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna tuck it farther and hopefully they won't have any issues with the peeling anymore on this vehicle. All right, so I got this window done. Like I said before, one of the things I wanted to do was just make sure that I got this film tucked down a lot deeper in there and I did. I got it tucked down probably about this much down way down in there um like i said it was peeling just right there um so hopefully with the film being down lower you won't have any more issues this channel is going to show you stuff the ins and the outs the real deals i felt i feel a little bit bad because the customer have to come back over here and take their time out of their day to get fixed but then again like i said the other side i just checked it it's not peeling at all um in certain cars it's just i think it just comes with knowing certain cars and knowing which cars are gonna react a certain way or which seals sit in the bottom of the door differently. I do a lot of trucks, I do a lot of cars and I have one here or there, you know, it's, it is what it is, this is real deal. So that's why I wanna have this vlog channel to show you it's not always just making money, it's not always just awesome installs. Sometimes you have to just man up and get stuff done and take care of it. Now, hopefully down the road, this customer will have no more issue with any peeling um, and, and hopefully they'll be good to go. But that's one of the things I wanted to show you with this is just, things that you have to do just to take care of your customers. So I ate it on this one, but down the road, if they recommend me and say, hey, he took care of me, I had an issue, other than that, I've been good to go, then that's what's gonna be important. So, so this didn't take that long to do. Like I said, it took about maybe 15 minutes. Um, knock it out, take care of it, get it situated, and get the customer back on the road. You'd rather have the customer be happy with the work you've done than to have them come through and say, the guy didn't take care of me, he messed around, he didn't fix it. People just like when you stand behind your work more so than even doing a good job, it seems like to me. You stand behind your work, you give them the reassurance that you'll take care of any problems, and that's very important with them. So guys, like I said, about some of the things I wanna show you if you're running a business, if you're attending, just a couple of things that, just to stand out in your mind and to remember, you know what I mean? Take care of your customers, it's very important. So this customer's done. I'm gonna get them back on the road so they can have the rest of their day. And you know what? Tomorrow will be a different day. So thanks for watching, I greatly appreciate it. This is Wayne from Faith Black Fox. Thanks for watching, man. I'm out.